to Miss Rosie's class. Today, I want to talk to you about design thinking, a framework that's helping many educators reimagine what learning should look like in their classrooms. The concept of design thinking began in the world of designers, scientists, and engineers. It illustrates how innovation happens and how creative ideas can become a reality. But as the world keeps changing at an incredible pace, it's becoming clear that it's not just designers who can benefit from the design thinking model. We need a world full of innovators, creators, and problem solvers. And that means teaching our kids how to make their imaginations turn into reality. The design thinking process is made up of five stages. Empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. The first stage is all about connection. This is where kids learn about the topic by observation, listening, and by putting themselves in someone else's shoes. In the next stage, students define exactly what problem they're trying to solve. This can be pretty straightforward, but other times it can be a little trickier. In this stage, students might be doing extra research to learn more about a topic or really narrowing their understanding to what exactly the problem is. In stage three, it's time to come up with as many ideas for solutions as possible. During the brainstorming stage, no idea is too big or too silly, and it's always a good idea to have other people around. You never know who's gonna add that last missing puzzle piece to your next great idea. Next, it's time for kids to choose the idea that they think will work best to solve the problem that they already defined, and to make a prototype or a model of their solution. This could be a physical creation or invention of some kind, but it could also be a video explaining their idea, or a skit or demonstration to show how it would work in the real world. And finally, it's time to test their model with a real audience. Does it really work to help solve the problem they defined in stage two, or do they need to go back and adjust their ideas or their prototype? Even though the design thinking process started with designers, it can apply to any problem-solving activity. And when we encourage kids to start with empathy, we're putting them on track to change the world for the better. Thank you for joining me today in Miss Rosie's class, and I'll see you next time. Study Cat!